Stan Meller was the brightest and the lightest of all the great jockeys of his era. At under nine stone, he was 20 pounds lighter than most of his rivals, but made up the physical deficit with a unique blend of horsemanship and guile. He had show jumped as a kid near Manchester, left school at 14, rode his first winner at 16, turned professional at 17. By the time he won the 1962 Whitbread on Frenchman's Cove, he was about to be champion jockey for the third time at the age of 25. But Frenchman's Cove's hanging on, just a few strides to go at the post. It's Frenchman's Cove the winner. Stan Miller was fascinating to ride against. A little upright, doll-like figure wrapped deep around his horse, and his speciality was to switch positions and attack the last fence with fantastic timing. No one has ever done this better or more famously than the day he beat Arkell on Storbridge Colonist. It's Storbridge Colonist going away from Arkell now as they battle up to the line. Arkell is going to be beaten. Storbridge Colonist is the winner of the line. Stan rode on for five more seasons and in November 1971 broke one of the toughest glass ceilings in sport. He became the first jockey to ride 1,000 winners over jumps. And here it is, a 1,000 winner for Stan Miller coming up the line. Uzo is the winner. A training career beckoned and there were big winners both on the flat and over jumps. Pollerstown and Saxon Farm winning the Triumph Hurdle, and Royal Mail and Lanarai the Whitbread Gold Cup. And up towards the line, Lanarai is going to win it. A spectacular performance by Lanarai. But looking back, it is for what he did for others, as well as for himself, that Stan will be best remembered. He was a thinker and a leader. He led us all on helmets, insurance, back protectors, plastic rails, fence structure, and did more for jockey's welfare than anyone else has ever done. I think you get the success you deserve, and I've, I've had a good innings. I've been a jockey for 18 years and a trainer for 29. I've, done, I've had a good innings. Really. So let's end with John Oakes' tribute that 1,000 win a day at Nottingham. Stan's success, John wrote, has polished him without making him proud, toughened him without making him hard, and taught him more about life than most of us will ever know without making him unkind or cynical. It has produced Stan Meller, a great jockey, and far rarer, a great man.